Step 1. Two isolation transformers connected to an audio amp. All right? This is broadcasting 90 degrees out of phase sine waves. The output of the transformers with no load is 90 degrees out of phase. I have it running at 100 hertz. 90 degrees out of phase. Now if you take two coils inside cores and clamp them together like a transformer, a one-to-one -one transformer, and you run the hot lead, or it could be the negative lead, into one of the coils and out into the transformer, and the same on the other side, the other channel, into the other coil and out into the transformer. Now we have a phase shift because the magnetics of this double core coil is pushing the phase forward and it's pushing when it's positive going down the other polarity is pushing that going down right past the zero line into the negative at the exact same time shifting the phase so now on the output of our transformers on load we'll have 90 degrees I mean 180 degrees out of phase even though the input is 90 degrees out of phase so we achieved the phase shift now this isn't too optimal because this is a big heavy duty crappy amp but it could handle these electromagnets and it shouldn't really matter because now if we replace these resistors with coils magnetic fields both of them and we interface a pickup coil between them anything we pick up should not pass to the load because we shifted the phase with the transformers into 180 degrees even though the input is at 90 degrees. We shifted it 90 degrees. Now if I switch one of these leads here, the phases will be in phase. And if I switch them, they'll be out of phase. So we can't get this back to 90 without removing this. Now this sets up a situation where in theory, whatever magnetic field we're producing from these coils, as long as they're linked together, you should be able to take that magnetic field again and again and again and again and as long as you're completing the linkage of flux in between whatever you're taking it should pass right back to the positive side to um, eliminate lens and not pass your power that you harvest back to the input so this is where I'm going with this now we took both transformers that are 180 degrees out of phase even though the input's 90 and we put them in series okay and the blue wave is the transformer connected to load 2.38 volts going into load now just to show you I have the other lead of the scope hooked up to one electromagnet on one channel which is here so you can see the phase difference between the isolated output on load and one electromagnet. So let's turn that channel on. And as you see, they're 90 degrees out of phase. Now remember, the yellow is on the right of the blue. So the yellow is lagging in this situation on this one. Now let's change these leads and check the other side. We'll make sure we get red on red again, the same phase, the same a coil configuration. And now, on this side, the blue one is also 90 degrees out of phase. But this time, the yellow is on the left of the blue. So, this one, the yellow is lagging. And on the other one, the yellow is leading. And our induction that we're getting on the output is 90 degrees out of phase from both of them directly in the middle.